Hey, how's it going everyone? Just want to do a really quick video. So, uh, you know, I've been in the chats a little bit um, today. Looks like there's a lot of um, drama in uh, flat earth baller debate, all this kind of division uh, on both sides. But, um, you know, to me, it's uh, inevitable. I mean, everybody has an opinion uh, these days and, you know, that's just the world that we live in. There's very little consensus on anything. Um, unless, uh, you know, it's, it's a narrative fed by the government. There's quite a few people who are aligned with that, but apart from that, um, there's very little consensus. And it looks like even within that, uh, there's some division, um, like the non sequitur channel is um, uh, throwing rocks at one another and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, a house divided cannot stand. I mean, <laughs> both sides are divided, the truth side's divided, the non-truth side's divided. And then the summation of those two would obviously, by definition, be divided. So, uh, you know, this place is completely finished in my mind. But I wanted to uh, talk further a little bit about um, uh, something that Pete Shea keeps saying. And I'm going to kind of get on his case now more because I think he's hurting, um, quote unquote, truth community more than he's helping. But, um, you know, he keeps pushing um, that Obama and uh, Will Smith are the same people. Uh, which is just confusion it's even if that were the case it's completely irrelevant to anything and so i'm going to kind of get on him to start getting his opinion on um, financial stuff everybody's pretty much hush hush on financial things and it's blatantly obvious so uh, there's something else going on uh, in my opinion for people who uh, who do that but um you know will smith um what i would guess again we don't know for sure is uh, is a so-called Negro. He would be what people would label as a so-called African American, and uh, Obama is uh, is an African. And then most people assume that those two people are the same. That um, African American and Negro are one to one, but uh, that is not the case. And uh, I wanted to use uh, a source that uh, the Hebrews use quite often, and is to me is very compelling um, in the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. So this is Zondervan is a well uh, accepted and respected, you know, publisher of Christian material, and um, uh, one would think, you know, would not be biased in any way. Uh, they would probably be biased towards uh, evangelical Christianity of anything, um, certainly in their publications here in the U.S. But so in the Zondervan um, Bible Dictionary, if you look up Ham. You know, so uh, Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And um, the Semitic people, the Shemitic people, um, are all the people that um, are descendants of Shem. And uh, Ham uh, is defined here in the Zondervan Dictionary as the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites, found in Genesis 10, 6 to 20, his indecency when his father lay drunken brought a curse upon him. Ham is, uh, like it says here, the progenitor of the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. So broadly speaking, Ham would be the progenitor of the so-called Africans. And uh, But the, the Zondervan Dictionary says here explicitly, and I'll put the link below um, for this, uh, not the Negroes. They're not the same people. You know, everybody wants to just lump everybody together because no one knows anything <laughs> in this day. It's becoming very, very obvious that uh, the world is completely brain dead. Um, but, you know, that's just the world that we live in. Thankfully, there's traces of truth um, in, some, in pockets on flat earth. But um, Will Smith and Barack Obama are from a completely different lineage. <laughs> so it just shows the kind of confusion that Pete and a lot of people are bringing to the table. I'm not saying he hasn't done anything for the truth movement, but uh, it's becoming very, very obvious that this circus is just that. It's a circus. So I just want people to consider the fact that, um, you know, now if they're not from Ham, they're either from Shem or Japheth. And uh, there's plenty of support um, that uh, the so-called Negroes um, are uh, Shemitic people. They are Semitic people. You know, again, that does not mean that um, all of the Israelites are dark-skinned and will look the same. That's not. That's just not true. All these 
uh, people that came from Ham, Sham, Sham, Ham, and Japheth, uh, you know, have gone to different parts of the world, you know, and they've married people who are local to those areas. And there's been mixing and all that everywhere, you know, and, and to this day it's happening. So it's, one would think it would happen uh, in a greater concentration uh, in the, in the olden days when there's less and less people, you know, so there's just, um, you know, uh, less sort of uh, permutations, you know, that can happen. So, you know, once one group mixes with another, uh, that's going to create, you know, a large uh, offspring, large group of people from that mixture. And that's what we have, you know, in front of us. And so, um, you know, that's, uh, that's the case. And uh, it, now and, and it certainly in the past. So uh, people uh, who are from a lineage of um, Shem, you know, will well, like I said, look like all different people, you know, they'll look dark skin, they'll look light skin, uh, and everything in between. And uh, they'll look Asian, um, all that kind of stuff, you know, this is just, this is God's plan, you know, he wanted this confusion. But he also wanted certain things to be clear. And uh, to me, it's very, very clear that uh, the biblical Jews, uh, many of them are the so called Negroes in America. And then that implies that, like the Bible says, in many, many places that Jesus is dark skin. You know, this is an invitation that my channel offers to people uh, to worship the God of the Bible uh, and for what it says, you know, and um, the narrative that he has set forth for them and uh, people who are enslaved worldwide, we all are to some degree, uh, is his plan, you know, but what they've gone through uh, being packed like sardines on cargo slave ships and sent here and uh, the kind of torment that they were put under uh, has to be in the Bible. There is no God who would ever allow something like that to happen on earth and not have a particular reason for it. They were um, sewing um, uh, cats into a woman's womb and uh, betting to see which one could come out fastest, scratch their way out. They were uh, using, you know, um, Negroes as like gator bait. Uh, They were obviously hanging them off trees, uh, you know, all that stuff. It was just a horrendous form of slavery um, that happened to them. And again, there's slavery that happens worldwide to this day that is just as sinister, but for it to be with that large of a group and um, to have, you know, that type of impact, you know, on them as a group of people to this day, uh, to me, um, has to be in the Bible or else the God of any religious text um, would be completely oblivious to what's going on under their watch. And so to me, that is a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Ultimately, the enslavement uh, is prophesied for all of us uh, in the end times, but uh, that level of devastation has to be uh, for a spiritual purpose. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.